Hello everyone, we got some interesting information about Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten, the pinnacle weapons of Crucible. So in this quick video, I'm gonna go over the info we have so far, and then I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's not waste time and jump right into it. So at this week at Bungie, this is what they had to say about these two weapons. At the release of Destiny 2 Forsaken, two pinnacle weapons became available for players to earn in the competitive playlist in the Crucible. Each weapon has a unique quest, requiring mastery of hand cannons to complete. There has been a lot of feedback on how the Pinnacle Crucible hand cannons stand above most other weapons in the sandbox. Today we'll be going through some balance changes planned for Season of Opulence. We wanted to start this conversation early to ensure players understood that change was coming, even if they were still on the path to acquiring these rewards. Here's the Destiny dev team to walk us through the planned changes. We wanted to give you a preview of some plans we have to balance Luna's Hull and Not Forgotten in Season of Opulence. After significant amounts of feedback, internal discussion and playtime testing, we've decided to adjust how these hand cannons work. For some players, these weapons can represent a significant investment of time and the personal improvement needed to acquire them. When tuning, we attempt to take into account the time commitment players make to acquire weapons and balance that against how those weapons affect the different game modes. Magnificent Howl, the unique perk on these weapons, is too effective. It works in a neutral setting and rewards players for getting precision shots, something they would have done naturally. As a result, the time to kill of the game shifts to meet this new benchmark, and players feel that the majority of primary weapons in Destiny 2 cannot compete with these pinnacle weapons. Our current plan is to make Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten the only 150 RPM precision hand cannons. They will maintain some aspects of their current behavior while taking on the firing speed and damage of the 150 RPM hand cannons. Magnificent Howl will also be adjusted so that it increases only body shot damage resulting in a two headshot, one body shot kill. Magnificent Hull will still give an advantage due to requiring less precision hits for optimal time to kill. Like we do whenever Destiny gameplay evolves, we'll be watching the conversation starting today on our planned changes. We'll continue collecting feedback once these changes go live at the beginning of the season of opulence. If you have feedback now, please make sure to sound off in the Destiny 2 forum right here on Bungie Net. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. You see, there's always two sides of the story, right? We have people who put in a lot of time for the not forgotten grind, like myself, and a lot of people are already upset at this decision. If you go to the Bungie forums, you'll see a lot of posts already asking not to nerf these weapons, and that is understandable. But at the same time, it's a fact that these weapons are locking the meta in one spot. And I've talked about this in the Crucible video I made a few days ago. In a game like Destiny 2, where we have a lot of cool looking and interesting weapons, it's kind of sad to see people only use 2-3 weapons most of the time in the Crucible. Now when I say it's locking the meta, of course you can use whatever you want and no one is forcing you to use these weapons. I myself love using Recluse, Last Word and many others, but in this case everyone is using these guns and the problem is it's not only happening in competitive, but even in quick play, all you see is shotgun, Lunas are not forgotten and Warcliffe. And considering the fact that it usually takes Bungie months to change weapons, I'd like to see some change. However, I've always said that in my opinion, instead of nerfing stuff into the ground, buffing other weapons to compete with the current ones would be a better move. Now as for the nerf itself, we'll have to wait and see. Is it gonna make the weapons terrible? Cause 150s on console right now are in a pretty bad spot for PvP. It also says that the Magnificent Hull perk will now do more damage to body shots only. And don't forget, 150s are 3 shot headshots anyway. As they mentioned, they're just gonna make the weapon more forgiving. If you miss that third headshot and that's about it. I guess it can still be useful, let's say if you kill someone with two headshots shots if they are not full HP and then use that third shot on someone else but it has to be a body shot, I don't know. All I can say is it sounds weird and it definitely is a nerf. This way or another, change is coming guys and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this nerf too much? Should they instead buff other weapons? I'd love to hear some opinions and ideas about all of this so let me know in the comments. That's gonna be it for this video, thanks for all the support and as always have a crazy beautiful day.